the champion Phillies stakes is next. This is a mile and a half for Phillies and Mears of three rolls and upwards. Uh, top we've got Hillside Cavern for Jim Murray, Lash Trapanga for Darren Thompson, Nature's Beauty, Leon Van Rensburg, Night Vision, David Robertson, Kushki Superstar, Dan Hughes, Santa Rosa Fruit and Springfield Glorious for Vinnie Gerard, Excello Pound, David Robertson, Money Pit, Joshua Sutherland, Perfect Diva, Paul Rhodes, Time for Success, Leon Van Rensburg, Trapanga Bridge, Darren Thompson and Warning Signs for Joshua Sutherland, a field of 13 then, of the mile and a half trip, and away they go. Same course and distance as the King George, and Nature's Beauty is the first one to show. With Springfield Glorious, the grey, just the early back marker. There's no one five or six lengths between a lot of them at the moment as they sort themselves out into their preferred racing order. And it's Perfect Diva who's come round the outside, who's going to take it up then and get across to the fence and quickly put three lengths between herself and the rest of them. With Money Pit second, then Lastra Panga, and Time for Success, Springfield Glorious is next. Uh, looking towards the back of three row, just a little bit attached at the back. Santa Rosa Fruit, Nathan's Beauty, and Hillside Cavern. The three being held up, but it's Perfect Diva who's setting the pace and leads by four or five to Lastra Panga the Grey. No, sorry, Lastra Panga is the one in the maroon with the white sleeves. The Grey is Springfield Glorious. Far on the far side is Muddy Pit between them. Time for success and high vision. The second Darren Thompson horse is the one widest on the track. That's Trapanga Bridge. Exano Pound is next. Warning signs is going to try and go up the inner. As Hillside Cavern tries to make a move from the back. Santa Rosa Fruit and Nature's Beauty still happy to sit out the back. But it's Perfect Diva. He's trying to make every post a winning one and set a true test of stamina. Racing up past the Willie Garton trees. And it's Perfect Diva who leads by a good three to four lengths to Night Vision in second. Then Money Pit, Quishki Superstar, and Trapanga Bridge. Then Time for Success, Springfield Glorious is next. Perfect Diva's lead is now down to a little more than a couple as Time for Success comes through into second now on the inside. Last Trapanga's coming through with a run. Perfect Diva holding the lead as they make their way towards the straight. Perfect Diva from Money Pit in second. Time for Success is third. The one that's really cruising well around the outside is Night Vision. They're all now beginning to get ready to make their challenges. The one who's dropped right out there is Santa Rosa Fruit. And it's Perfect Diva who's got the lead. Perfect Diva's in front then as they come down towards the final two furlongs. Perfect Diva now being followed by Money Pit who's gone on. Excello Pound is next. Hillside Cavern. Trapanga Bridge coming through to challenge as well. It's just about Trapanga Bridge on the outside from Money Pit. Then Quishki Superstar is absolutely flying. There's a furlong still to go. Whiskey Superstar is now coming to challenge Trapanga Bridge. Trapanga Bridge is holding on though. Trapanga Bridge holding on on the outside. Springfield Glorious is coming through with a run. So too is Hillside Cavern. It's going to be Springfield Glorious. He gets up to win it from Nature's Beauty. Night Vision Excello Pan. Trapanga Bridge. Hillside Cavern. All the way back to long time leader. Perfect Diva who tailed off. And Springfield Glorious. Took the whole of that mile and a half to get into the lead. But did so and takes it for, you guessed it, Vinnie Gerard. Nature's Beauty second for Leon Van Rensburg. Hillside Cavern for Jim Murray was third. And David Robertson was fourth and fifth with Night Vision and Excello Pound.